Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back to episode 26 of Dwarf Fortress, the Strategic Citadel. Uh, last episode, we hit our quarter century mark, 25 episodes, Dwarf Fortress. Most of it was spent trying to equip the military, which was uh, much needed, but they are working away now. And not really a whole lot to do that's uh that is one of the problems with uh with the game you eventually reach a point that uh you just run out of things to work on uh and you know i mean you can always start mega projects and um i tried to create one time i tried to create a like a giant dwarf statue and man that was just that was a pain in the butt. <laughs> I mean, it was a pain in the butt. All right, so we finished this wall. So that should be done. Um, this is still fully enclosed. So, yeah, so I've tried to build a, a big project, but that's just not my forte, man. <laughs> not at all. Uh, why are you... Oh, you're loading a cage trap. Okay. Taking a long time. Oh, well, the FPS blows. Did you take off a hat? Um. No? Guess not. There's something there, but that's weird. Alright, well. We're going to scroll down, see what else is going on. All right, so still a lot of mining to be done. Okay, they're digging out. Oh, the trails of vomit. That's nice. Wow, look at the FPS. I guess that would be one thing that would be nice would be to see some FPS optimization in the game, but <clears throat> as long as they're doing alpha testing, I just don't see that happening. Uh, ZXB. Alright, so we still have some bedrooms open. Have we turned all these into bedrooms? No, we haven't even built these into bedrooms yet. No? Wow. Okay. Owner, owner, owner. Okay, we haven't assigned everybody. <laughs> <clears throat> thought we had so we will rectify that real quick I think I mentioned before I go ahead and give the dwarf children even though they'll share a bed with their parents I still assign them one just because when they become of age they move out and that way I don't forget No, we can't go down. That's that's disappointing. You have to scroll each individual name. That blows. This would be something I would like to see optimized to trying to get through these big long lists or, you know, auto assign. I think you can actually leave leave the room you can make it a bedroom and not assign it and they'll just move in something like that Ooh, we had two people move into that one oh that one's already owned Oh, the two librarians are living together. That's uh, how ironic is that? <laughs> Bookbinder. Or 
temperature hauler. So yeah, I think if you make them a bedroom and then don't assign them, they will assign themselves, but you know, this way you can kind of control and make sure everybody's got a space, you know, and whatnot. Engraver. Hammer Dwarf. Looks like this hall was already assigned. Alright, I think that's it. It's enough for me to worry about at least. <laughs> All right, we are training those, or at least attempting to. All right, we're gonna knock that out. Some more rhyolite. We'll knock this out. guess I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a armor stockpile here so I am going to change settings oh wait no I need no bins, change settings, armor, forbid, alright, I think we're going to do, let's do that, and then we'll do the bottom four on the next floor. And then we can start sorting that out. All right, we do want to forbid those. Yeah, we don't want artifacts in there either. All right, so that should be good. How are we doing on our crossbows? They still have not made them yet. Why not? Hmm. Copper crossbows. I mean, they're in the queue. Are we having issues? We do have bolts. How many bolts are we making? Alt W. Actually, you know, let's up that. I want 900 to 1,000. That way we've always got a full flow, right? I'm going to use some of that steel and make another anvil. Um, a Kia? Hello? Oh, well, the Kia is inside. Kill him. Yes. You are the beast. Kill. Kel has killed two Kias. Let's see. Let's go to Therapist. We'll connect. Alright, Kel is a hammer dwarf. Oh, sort by profession. Uh, Kel, Kel. Right there. Military. Two kills. Two Kias. What a beast. I wonder if we can butcher those. We probably should. 
Alright, so they stole a minecart. Those jackass. How the hell do they even get in there? Seriously, how did they get in there? Alright, you should be able to go, right? No activity? Are you hurt? Uh, let's see. Let's look at our health screen. That's not what I want. Um, there should be... Oh, no? Other... How do I find that health screen? Oh, sorry for the noise. The dogs... The dogs are playing ball. Um... Hauling... Status? You no, know, I went there. Well, I guess I can go here. We can go to health. There's a health thing inside the game, but I can't remember where it's at right offhand. Alright, Kel was the one fighting. He looks... looks fine. Just wanted to make sure he wasn't, uh... Alright, so let's see. He attacked the Kia, but he jumped away. Bashes the wing. Charges at the Kia. Knocked unconscious. Artery opened by the attack. Lodged firmly in the wound. Yes, kill it. And the other one bites the Kia in the head. Tearing the muscle, shattering the skull. Wow. Ha! <laughs> That's incredible. Charged in and crushed its head with his mouth. Fear the beard, man. Fear the beard. <laughs> that is amazing. I think I want to do that, that. Mm. All right, guys, well, we'll put a cut in here. Again, leave a like, subscribe, do all those YouTube things that you guys can do. That's how I get support for my channel, get my videos out there for more people to see them, continue to grow my, my subscriber base. Um, you know, I don't do Patreon or any of those other things that a lot of the career YouTubers do. You know, like I said, I just do this for fun. But, you know, I do want to get my videos seen if I can. You can help me do that. Thanks for checking it out. Um, we'll see you next time. If you have anything in particular you might like to see as we continue to develop this for as long as I go, um, let me know. So... Take care. Talk to you later. Bye.